Alrighty, so hello. It is December 24th. I had to think about it for a second. Um, I don't know when you're actually seeing this. Today is orientation day. I'm running a bit behind schedule because I was excited to wear this dress and then decided to take the buttons off at the very last second. And that took a little longer than anticipated. But this is why I wanted to leave early. Anyway, we're gonna put the bow on this side. I'm wearing my little pine cone, which is technically a Christmas necklace, but I may actually keep it out just because it's Wilderness Lodge. It's a little chilly outside, so I'm wearing this cardigan. So I don't really have a light jacket. Realized last night I need to do another closet go through because a lot of my clothes don't fit like they used to. How am I feeling? I'm actually feeling pretty good. Um, I'm just real tired, honestly. Jared and I were talking and um, pretty much today's a fun day. This is my own fault for deciding to do last minute things. I decided to take the beads off of my dress at the very last second. So instead of being five minutes early, I ended up being five minutes late um, in leaving. And because of that, I forgot my lunch, which is not the end of the world, but I'm frustrated because now I have to buy lunch and I had a good, healthy, nice lunch prepared. And I'm upset about it. So I just tried to scan in with my ID and apparently cast member's ID doesn't work on that side. I have to go through the regular, cause there's like this, there's the gate where you scan in and then there's the gate where you like go through and you're like, I have a reservation, you know, or I'm just checking in and I don't know where I'm going. Um, you know, basically the security side. And apparently that's the side that I go on, which I don't know, I guess, because one of the things about Saratoga Springs is they let you go, um, you know, like when you're not working, you can go and you can go to like the, whatchamacallit, the community hall and stuff like that. And you just scan in and you park cast parking. That's what we're allowed to do. And I don't know if that is a thing for a Wilderness Lodge, which will suck, but whatever, I'll figure it out. Oy vey. Also, the amount of traffic that there was. Goodness gracious. There was so much traffic. Is that a parking spot? Ha ha! I actually don't start for 30 minutes, so I have plenty of time to kind of wander around and find food. So that's what we're going to do. Well, so far, like, this whole time I've been trying to be like, we're going on an adventure. I'm going to explore everything. Da -da -da -da. And so far, I don't really feel welcomed thus far. But I'm just trying to remember, trying to remind myself it's okay that I don't know where I'm going. I'm learning new things today. These are the activities going on today tie dye, marshmallows. And then over here is what's going on tomorrow, my first day of training. It's gonna be busy. Luckily, there is a cast member discount for 40% still. I guess it doesn't work tomorrow, so I cannot forget my lunch tomorrow. The Santa Claus made here. There's a big red chair. Santa Claus. I'm gonna take some pictures because it's really pretty here. Just clocked out. Today was definitely interesting. <laughs> um, I think the biggest, my biggest issue was just, it's just a lot of information, which is fine, except for the fact that like, typically you get like a day to, you know, be introduced to your area and then the next day you're like actually practicing it 
And then typically the day after that, you're like, you know, okay, your, your stamp of approval. Or like the end of the second day, it's your stamp of approval. It's also Christmas, and so they're busy and they need a lot of extra help. And so it's, it's a weird schedule anyway, because you're not gonna be getting your typical whatever. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I'm so confused. Give me a second. <sighs> okay. <laughs> My biggest issue is I kind of feel like I was fine having a good time going through orientation, doing the basic, you know, welcome to resorts, you know, answering like the four keys type questions and stuff like that. And then when they went into the human trafficking class, which I've done before, and they started doing other training that I've done before, um, that were like non-wilderness lodge specific, that is when two cast members came in, which I later learned was the head of training for children's activities, and then one of my leaders for children's activities and recreation. They came and they're like, hi, we're gonna take you out of the class, and part of me felt special um, because I was the only one that was a straight transfer and not like learning a new role and the other part of me was nervous because one of their first questions was do you have your costume and I was like well I have my costume but like not with me and they're like okay and then I looked down at the schedule that they had handed me and it said that I was my last three hours was supposed to be on the job and I was just like I didn't get this schedule and so that was kind of anytime I don't feel prepared I instantaneously get anxious and nervous and so that didn't help me so then from then on I mean everyone was really cool about everything like my care coordinators are nice my managers were nice they were like what do you need like they're really willing to work with me but it was just like it was like so much information about the lodge and like where things are and how things go that I was trying to absorb and then they just threw me into activities and I just felt really overwhelmed. And on top of that, I went to a non, like a backstage area. I didn't, because I had to use the restroom and I didn't think that I didn't have my name tag on and then I got like snapped at by another manager. <sighs> so that didn't start off my second part of my afternoon on top of, I don't know if I said this, top of not having my lunch and forgetting it at home, which I didn't end up eating food. I just ended up spending up more money than I wanted to. <sighs> anyway, part of me, I think it's my anxiety, but Part of me is like refusing to accept that this is my new home. And then the other part of me is like, I can see me settling in here. It's just different and it's not what I want. And I think that upsets me. <laughs> I do things differently and that'll take a lot of getting used to. But I mean, it's fine. It could be a lot worse. I think it's just the fact that like I'm being thrown into it all, but I think like I talked to the leaders about it briefly and luckily they're, like I said, they're willing to work with me. <sighs> Again, it's just, it's just a lot of information because the resort is set up completely different. They're not, also they don't have DVC discounts for things. So on top of things being more expensive, they don't give DVC discounts um, for like crafts and stuff like that, whereas we do at Saratoga. And there's just a lot of, and I can't judge the guests now because it's Christmas. Everyone has high expectations because everyone's cranky because it's busy and there's a lot of people and they paid a lot of money to come down for the holidays. So I can't judge the guests right now. I can't even really judge the activities, like how busy and crazy they were. Like we did tie dye and oh my God, it was insane. Um, there were so many people doing tie dye, it was ridiculous. Um, but again, I can't judge all of that because it's the holidays. Like July 4th and Christmas are the busiest times to be at Disney. And those are literally both times that I trained. And so I'm just trying to remind myself that like, 
look, it's going to be busy this week. It's going to be busy next week. But after that, it should die down. Um, yeah, it's just a lot. It's just, it's just a lot. But like I said, everyone's really nice. The lifeguards are lots of fun. Um, the other children's cast members I worked with, <coughs> excuse me, are a lot of fun. But I think it's just the fact that it was cold and I didn't have one like, or anyone like, not holding me by the hand, but like walking me through things. I had to kind of like, I mean, I observed and learned like, cause I couldn't, obviously I was dressed like, you know, this, I could not do tie dye cause I would have gotten it all over me. But like I stood from the side and I could watched and I observed and I took in the information, um, you know, to the best that I possibly could. And I asked all the questions that I could and everything. It's just so much information and it's completely different. And I talked to my manager briefly when I said goodbye. She goes, I know it's a, I know it's new and it's a lot, but she's like, if you take it step by step and luckily I do have to say the next couple of days, we're going to be overstaffed. We're going to have extra people. So I will be, I won't be alone for different things basically. So anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm like, I thought I had, um, cause I've been sneezing and sniffling kind of all day since I woke up. And, um, I think it's just allergies, but I also had like a headache right here at one point, but I think it's just, um, like a stress headache because once I sat down and started just banding t-shirts and I didn't have to like do anything or worry about, oh, and I also extended, they were like, they're like, um, we'll just extend you if we need you longer. And I was just kind of like, what? You know, I mean, cause I am working under eight hours, my shift today, but they were like so gun ho to extend me. And I thought about it and I was like, I can extend an hour. Cause I was supposed to be out at three and they're like, I can extend an hour. And they're like, can you stay until five? And I'm like, okay, now we're pushing in. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave now and try and figure out how to get out the cast entrance way. So I know how to get in anyway. And there's a car parked right next to me. This is awkward. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.